Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Cursed Captain here with everything we know about the new content update called the Ships of Fortune. So sit back, relax, grab a grog, and let's see what our fortune is. See what I did there? Ships of Fortune. Let's see what our fortune is. Yeah, that's what I call a quality pirate dad joke. One of the first things we see is that there appears to be a new reputation level called Emissary for each of the trading companies. And it looks like this new system will also unlock some exclusive cosmetics. There will also be a new trading company called Reaper's Bones. The trailer says this new company is all about battle and bloodshed, which leads me to believe this could be our first trading company that is focused around PvP in the Sea of Thieves. Finally, we all will be rewarded for all the plundering and murder that we do on the seas. Thank the Whale Lord. Either way though, these cosmetics look awesome and oddly familiar to a proposal video that I did about potential curses and masks that you can unlock in the game. Am I a prophet of the Sea of Thieves or what? The arena is also getting a facelift. It looks like digging up chest is out, thank the way lord, and the new game mode will focus around collecting a single chest on the map that everyone will be able to see at all times. This is going to breathe some much needed life into the arena mode and hopefully prompt some intense battles. It also looks like they cut the time down on each match from 24 minutes to 15 minutes, so these matches are going to be even more intense. There also has been mention of a new death system being introduced into the game. From what is shown in the trailer, it looks like you will be able to revive your crewmates and be revived by them. This will apply for arena and adventure mode. I'm curious to see how this plays out in the game, but it looks awesome and I cannot wait. Now let's hop over to the Pirate Emporium. Probably the biggest news is that outside of some new cosmetics and awesome looking ship hulls, cats are finally here in the Sea of Thieves. It has long been asked for and we finally get to see these furry little friends on our adventures. Personally, I want a black cat for the Black Death only makes sense. Anyways, these new pets look incredible and I will for sure be getting one of my own. Now we just need a crab as a pet. Maybe one day. The new Ships of Fortune update looks fantastic. With the new emissary system, the addition of what looks like a PvP trading company, a new death and revive system, and cats, we have a lot to look forward to. And for some even more exciting news, Rare recently announced that Sea of Thieves is coming to the Steam store. There's not a lot of information yet regarding when it will be released, but this will be huge for the game. It will expand the community to one of the biggest game marketplaces out there, allowing for even more people to play the game. All in all, it's an exciting time to be a part of the Sea of Thieves community. We have so much to be fortunate about in this new update. See what I did there? Yeah, I'll be here all week. Anyways, I just want to thank all of you beautiful scurvy dogs for supporting this cursed captain. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you that have supported me by hitting that subscribe button. My big dream is to do this full time one day and each and every subscriber gets me one step closer to that goal. So if you've not yet hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me if you did. Now, looking ahead at what's coming to the Sea of Thieves, what are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, remember to shoot first and ask questions later. See you on the seas, you scurvy dogs.